Es el tiempo del hombre de Turbo. Ah, oh, well, that's the uh, multilingual version. It's fun and educational. I went... Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today, we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most outrageous bootleg merch. The Wolfman was called Midnight Wolf because we all know the moon waits until midnight to come out. For this list, we'll be ranking the craziest and most surreal examples of off-brand merchandising. Have you seen any of these? Or was it all just a fever dream? Let us know in the comments. Number 10. Special Man Look! Up in the sky! It's a bird! It's a plane! It's... Special Man? <laughs> That's right, the world's not-so-greatest Superman knockoff may appear if you really, really squint like the Man of Steel, but appearances can be deceiving. Sure, Special Man has a swanky haircut and a cool costume, but the logo is clearly a cut-and-paste job from the OG DC hero, with enough minor alterations to potentially dodge a copyright lawsuit. We use the word potentially because Special Man is brazenly close to the real thing. Although, we'd feel pretty bad for any child unlucky enough to receive this toy as a gift or reward for a job well done. Number 9. Pocket Monica. There is a wealth of bootleg Pokemon merchandise out there in Toyland, but the Pocket Monica collection might be one of the most egregious. What? No. This is due primarily to the alarming number of spelling inconsistencies and straight-up errors present on the packaging for this board game. First off, it's called Pocket Monica for crying out loud, which should immediately raise a red flag for any parent or consumer. It doesn't stop there, however, as the Pocket Monica box also doesn't care about spacing, spelling, or any respected forms of the English language. Call us crazy, but we're also assuming they meant Jump Jump Chess as opposed to Jump Japoom Chess. Number 8. Dora the Pokemon Explorer oh, man. Dora the Explorer! Hey, did you know that Dora the Explorer was part of the Pokemon universe? No? Well, don't tell that to the makers behind this next bootleg toy. Well, the word toy may be stretching things a bit, but we'd argue that any aspiring young Pokemon trainer might want to dress up like Ash from the television series. All right, Pidgeotto. Ha! I'll show you who's the dangerous one around here. Pokeballs, go! Oh. So, why not start by wearing a cool hat? The only thing is, well, that's not Ash on the hat. It's Dora the Explorer, as evidenced by this Twitter post from at Bootleg Stuff. Not only does this bit of bootleg merch seem lazy, it also feels nebulously offensive and problematic. And we can only hope there aren't too many more of these caps out there in the world. But now, Caterpie, you're my only hope. Just give it your very best shot. Caterpie, go! Number 7. Frightened Horses there's a lot to unpack with this obvious bit of off-brand My Little Pony merchandise. Wow! She's amazing! For starters, there's the alarmingly aggressive and uncapitalized call to action on the box that states, Hello! Come and collect us! Then there's the little business of these My Little... <clears throat> we mean fashion horses and their frightened expressions. Isn't this exciting? Are you excited? Because I'm excited. I've never been so excited. The modeling for these toys was clearly taken from an animation cell or screenshot where the My Little Ponies were in dress. Which begs the question, why? Why couldn't the producers of this box find a different image for their horses? It boggles the mind, really. Too green, too yellow, too poofy, not poofy enough, too frilly, too shiny. Number 6. Sharp Hand Joe 
Believe it or not, the maniacal child murderer and dream demon Freddy Krueger actually received plenty of legitimate toys marketed to young children back in the 80s. It was a different time. However, there's poorly conceived marketing, and then there's Sharp Hands Joe. This obvious Freddy knockoff actually appears pretty stoked to be a toy, featuring an expression that feels more, hey, nice to meet ya, than, I'm gonna slash you in your sleep. Hey, I'm Joe. See how sharp my hand is? They call me Sharp Hand Joe. But hey, what do we know? Maybe Sharp Hand Joe is a cool cat and totally not going to invade our sleepy time with some garish nightmares. This is it, Jennifer. Your big break in TV. Welcome to prime time, bitch. Number 5. Spader-Man Quick, someone get a hold of James Spader. Did he authorize this usage of his name? No? I've, I've never seen anything like this. <laughs> of course you haven't. No one has. Well, we can't say we're surprised, but we are impressed to report that this Spider-Man knockoff was bold enough to change its name in this fashion. And hey, the toy also excitedly advertises itself as being new and featuring lights and sounds. Spider-Man is also part of the Classics collection for some reason, although if we're being honest, we'd hate to see what other sorts of monstrosities are lurking within that bootleg collection. That said, an MCU tie-in with the title Spader-Man is something we didn't know we wanted, but we're sincerely hoping comes to fruition. The Avengers! Yeah. That's great! Number 4. Poke Wars Speaking of crossovers, hands up! Who thinks the Pokémon universe should collide with Star Wars? Anybody? Well, the makers of this next toy sure did, as it possesses some of the most brazen packaging on this list. After all, isn't it a wonder that George Lucas didn't come calling after this bold combination of Bulbasaur and Boba Fett titled, wait for it, Boba Fett? I think George Lucas gonna sue somebody. Actually, we're surprised that Lucas didn't try and force Boba Fett with his bounty hunter ball, thank you very much, into the original trilogy with some CGI tinkering. Now that we think about it. <laughs> After all, would it really have looked any worse than the Jedi Rock sequence from the Return of the Jedi Special Edition? <laughs> Number 3. Transmographers On one hand, we have to hand it to the makers of this Transformers knockoff for at least being somewhat inventive with their new name. After all, to transmogrify also means to transform, so at least we're on the right track. It's certainly better than another bootleg line of robots called <clears throat> Deformed Cars. Additionally, the transmographers also retain a logo that appears relatively similar to the OG. Where these toys drop the ball, however, is with the actual naming of the robots in question. For example, a yellow painted one that's clearly aiming for Bumblebee, but that's saddled with the unfortunate moniker of <clears throat> Star Holer. <laughs> you can't make this stuff up, people. If you see anyone besides me, what do you do? Great, perfect. Number two. Scary Menfish We're happy to report that we haven't, as of yet, truly got into any sort of off-market branding that's going to give little kids nightmares. Until now, that is. Do you have small children that just love Pixar's Finding Nemo and Finding Dory movies? Find a happy place! Find a happy place! Find a happy place! Darla, your uncle will see you now. Did these films make your kids ask if they could try surfing? Well, be sure to pay close attention, or else you might be grabbing them this monstrosity, and they'll never forgive you. The faces on these manfish feel straight out of that obscure Sega Dreamcast game Seaman. The less said about that, the better. All anthropomorphized and gross. 
Plus, they look like they're having an uncomfortably good time. We're out. Please, Marlin. I can't find him on my own. I'll forget. Please help me find my family. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number one, Robert Cop 3. Police officer, no loitering. RoboCop was another ultra-violent movie franchise that attempted to tone down its content in order to appeal to a younger demographic. This can be seen with the decision to make the third film in the series rated PG-13, as opposed to the hard R's of the former entries. What are your prime directives? Serve the public trust, protect the innocent, uphold the law. It remains to be seen, however, whether or not there were ever any precursors to this twistedly inspired bit of bootleg toy madness. For the record, RoboCop's name was Alex Murphy, not Robert, and we're not exactly sure why this toy is even titled Robert Cop 3. It's just such an arbitrary and headache-inducing decision. We do know one thing, however. The end results are absolutely hilarious. Whew, he's a fresh Robert Cop at the very least. He's got a pretty strong, soft vinyl smell coming off him. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo, And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.